Okay, so to all Windows users, why? Why do you keep using Windows? Like, okay. I'm quite amazed with how terrible the entire experience is from installing it to actually trying to use it. Like, how? How and why do people keep using Windows? During the install process, I had to create an account three times on the install welcome screen and I could not actually get into Windows until I created a third account. So I have Voiland tests and then we go to, for some reason, I cannot find a list with all the users inside of it. So Voiland tests is not in this list. So we have a normal account called Voiland as well and then Voiland Windows. Three accounts and then the install was suddenly like, yeah, that's probably good enough you can have access to Windows. <laughs> and the only reason why I need a Windows install, like I'm using a QEMU, kind of a virtualization software to, um, to get Windows working on Linux, an operating system that actually works properly. First of all, in this video, I'm going to say a lot of bad things about Windows and it's just, I am so frustrated. I have not used Windows in a very long time and I remember why I switched to Linux in the first place. So I need this virtual machine to compile the uh, GD extension for my video editor that I'm making instead of Godot. Videos on my channel, by the way. Subscribe to stay up to date with the whole process of making video editor inside of a game engine. But yeah, so I will need Git and I will need VS Code. So I try to open a command line and try to install it. That does not work. And yeah, I have to go to the websites to install things. Like what year is it? <laughs> I know there's some kind of like store probably and what is all the stuff that gets installed? Like why do I need Spotify, a card game and LinkedIn? This is on a clean install of Windows. Why is there already so much crap on it? Ha, why? <laughs> OneDrive, Office, why do I Skype? Is Skype still a thing? I thought that died a long time ago. Yeah, I know, I, there was some kind of like shop. I think ah the microsoft store of course i call it a store why would you want to have have movies in here i have not actually used this yet i want to install git um i <laughs> okay it's pro it's also possible that git is just not inside of this store okay how about vs code that's a windows product, I think. That's also not inside of it. Apparently there are two games. In, in what way do these names have VS Code included? So yeah, the, the Microsoft Store is apparently also completely useless. So to install, I need to install applications, I need to go to the site. I need to install an executable that's just installing. So I need to take space on my system to first get the way of installing the application <laughs> to then get more fun. Oh. So, okay, that, that's another thing. You can only install one application at a time? Like, what kind of a thing is that? Like, I could not install VS Code because Git was still installing. Just as an example of how it works on Linux. Like, I'm using the comment line and you can say whatever you want, like, yeah, installing with a graphical user interface is a lot cleaner and a lot nicer and it goes a lot more smoother. But the thing is, Linux also have those and they actually have all the applications that you can install. Sudo, Pac-Man, SYU, that's what I used to install. And if I want to install, by example, Chromium, because why use Chrome? And I want to install VS Code. Like, let's do what I need to do on uh, Windows. So I want to install Git and uh, Git and wait, let's first see um, VS Code. I think that's just Code OSS. It's just called Code. Okay, so I install Git and I install Code. And in the meantime, why not update my entire system? Voila. The only thing I need to do is press yes right now. And it's installed. Like it installs a lot quicker than on Windows. Like the amount of stuff that pops up, like, do you want to do this as well during the installation? Do you want to do this as well during the installation? What? Like, oh, I felt like I went back in time. 
it, it, I really feel like using Windows is like going back in time, but in a in a bad way. It's not like the nostalgic way. It's it makes me relive those frustrations of using this operating system. How many buttons did I need to press? Like I first had to fr like find the site, find the place to download it before I was actually able to do so. I actually had to look up how to install Git for Windows because I had no idea how Windows works. I only need Windows to fix the compiling issues that the GD extension has um, for my video editor. That's the only thing I need Windows for. Like I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about the security issues. Like yes, security, uh, like security on Windows is basically zero, and everything gets sent to the big overlord from Microsoft. So yeah, I'm not, really, I'm not even going to start about those things. I personally, like I care about privacy, but not to that kind of a big extent. But why use Windows compatibility? Like that's getting fixed every single day on Linux. And as long as people won't start using Linux more, uh, applications like Adobe Premiere and such won't start getting a Linux version if people just refuse to switch and refuse, uh, like keep accept accepting all the <laughs> Windows stuff. And I may sound frustrated, but on the other hand, like, why do I need this little dragon thing? Why do I need an icon here? And this newspaper thing, why do I need this? Like, why is this directly installed? And I already said it to not give my location data, and for some reason it, it knows where I am. And now I have to blur this out, because else people will know where I live. My Linux installed with all programs installed that I use contains less than, like, it's less than 30 gigabytes. This install alone, it had a minimum recommendation of 128 gigabytes. And, like, the very minimum was 60 gigabytes. That's double the amount of size that I need for Linux together with all my applications that I use. How is that possible? <laughs> well, they need some space for the code that sends all, the da all your data to their offices, so, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this video is mainly just to ask, like, why? If you use Windows, please tell me why. I don't know why people keep using that. First of all, installing things, kind of annoying. Installing Windows <laughs> takes so much time. It's so buggy. But like, installing things on Windows, it just does not feel secure because on the, like you also have virus like I won't say that there are no viruses for Linux, but I have yet to run into a problem with that at all. Whilst on Windows, yeah, uh, even if you don't install anything, you probably have a virus on your PC right now if you're using Windows. It's called Microsoft. <laughs> Next up, the amount of disk space that is required. It does not make sense that it takes that much space. Basically, if you buy a laptop with only 128 gigabytes, you won't have enough in a matter of days, not weeks, days. And for some reason, it's showing now market price. Why do I need to have stock market things on my taskbar? I know you can probably disable that, but the fact that it's just enabled by default. Th third one, all the crap that gets pre-installed. When you install Windows, this is a clean install. I'm not going to say that Linux is completely perfect. I occasionally run into problems, but in the past years, those amount of problems have reduced to a very small amount, and most problems that I have right now are caused by myself. I use Arch Linux for the people who know Arch. Um, you have to set up everything by yourself, so problems may arise, but most of the problems are user error. But if you use something like Linux Mint or Ubuntu or for people who like playing games, Pop OS, there basically are not any issues. Installing things is so much easier. If you install a good distro, you won't have that much bloatware or won't have any bloatware at all on your PC pre-installed. You don't have to worry that much about viruses because if you just use the command line to install things, and don't um, accept like strange sources to get your downloads from. Basically, to, get, to run into the issues of having a virus on your PC are so much slower. You also have control over your entire system with, with Linux compared to with Windows where everything is behind locks and licenses, yay. 
Linux is also a lot more lightweight. I'm not talking just about disk space. I'm also talking about memory usage and CPU usage. Again, if you choose a good distro with a good desktop environment, you won't have any memory issues or any CPU issues. And for programmers, like if you're watching this channel, you're probably a game developer or a software developer. Why are you using Windows? If you're using Windows right now, burn your drive. Or just delete everything and install a proper OS. In the day that we are today, Linux has improved a lot to the point that most games can play completely fine because of the whole Proton layer and just Steam in general. Even non-Steam games, you add them to your Steam library and they can use the Steam Proton versions and they can be played. I have yet to run into a game that does not play well on Linux. Granted, I'm not really much of a gamer and my last game that I played was probably 5-6 months ago. But still. <laughs> Compatibility is improving every single day. There's really not much point in using this kind of an OS anymore. I can keep going on and on about this, but I just wanted to make this quick little video. Please, try Linux for a week or a month and then decide. Do you want to keep using Linux or do you want to go back to the operating system that takes all your hardware performance and <laughs> sits on them, fills your drive with all unnecessary things, updates that keep requiring you to reset your PC every five seconds. Yeah, basically, just if you're using Windows right now, try Linux out. If you don't like it, install your crappy OS again, uh, Windows again. Bye bye. And as always, a big thank you to all my supporters on Ko-fi. Thank you.